Hello traders and welcome to the weekly outlook and setups volume 95 it's Ilya here and as always I'm super excited to have you here and as you already know in this video we are gonna have a look at the market how it developed this week what trades did we take and what we can potentially expect for the upcoming week so this one was actually pretty nice we had quite a lot of opportunities some of the pairs were pretty tricky actually we had a little bit range bound markets but of course if you are an intraday trader there are always opportunities every single day uh, me personally I had a very busy week I had three exams this week so I haven't focused on the market at all uh, but I took two trades and finishing the week with around 3.2% profit, somewhere around that. And I'm going to show you actually the only two trades that I took. And I was completely unfocused about this one. I actually clicked some wrong buttons as well. So I'm going to show you absolutely everything. So if you're new to the channel, it's all about trading. I share this weekly outlook and setups every Saturday. And once per week, I'm going to share a piece of educational content. So make sure you are subscribed. Turn on the notification bell in order not to miss those upcoming videos. And of course, I want to mention that I have been trading crypto as well and Forex with TraderForex.com. It's an amazing broker with an amazing initiative. Not only that they have an amazing spreads and no commissions, but if you pick the eco account, every single dollar of commission you pay goes towards planting trees. And I really support that. And if you're also looking to support the environment, make sure to go check them out. Link is down in the description. And if you audited it, let's see what do we have for this week. as always starting with our best friend the dixie to have a look how the dollar performed this week and all we can potentially expect for the upcoming one as you can see we had this beautiful evening star formation from the previous week and this week we had a little bit of a pullback at the beginning and then we had actually a pretty nice bearish week on the dollar we started with a little bit of a consolidation it looked like it might still pump up but as you can see right now we're having this um uh, push to the downside so right now you can see that we're perfectly trending to the downside on the weekly we have this whole range right there the market pulled back inside this range so got all the orders needed and right now eventually the question is is are we gonna start pumping down for the creation of a new weekly lower low of course this is the weekly time frame so it depends a lot on the on the economic outlook as well because if we drop again on the daily we can still see that the daily hasn't completely changed yet all right we have this push to the upside very strong a pullback a little consolidation double bottom right there and then we have this massive pump so right now if i actually if i actually drop the fib we can see that we are already crossing below the 7.6 so really this is getting into a reversal phase but of course we still have this daily support right there to pay attention to but if we drop on the main time frame that I usually trade, which is the four hourly, we started with this consolidation right there, which I said, if we break above, that's only when I'm going to be looking for longs. And uh, you can see that we just broke to the downside. We created the low and then we had a little bit of a pullback. And basically then for, for two days, we ranged around this one, which made the market a little bit range bound, but that is perfectly fine. All right. So right now, how am I going to break down this pair? Well, we see that this is our very strong um, supply area right there. This is where the real orders were launched. And right now we just create like little pullbacks, little pushes, overall consolidation. And uh, on this move down, I don't see a break of structure as well. So I cannot really confirm this to be my lower high. But of course, you see that we have an equal lower high right there. So this could be another level. So currently I am bearish on the dollar. Um, a few situations that could occur we can pull back again inside this level to create a lower high and we can pump to the downside towards that daily level and if eventually i see a daily close or maybe a four hourly close below this level then totally we are bearish all right but right now we are a little bit in the lower low in terms of a daily and four hourly therefore i would expect a little bit of a retracement if this level gets broken then potentially I can look for a pullback towards this area where potentially we can have some bigger sales because this will be more of a higher time frame pullback, all right? So this is my outlook on the dollar, nothing too much right now. So again, the question is, you can see that we're starting to form a little bit of a head and shoulders as well. So totally this is left shoulder, head, potentially we can pull back for the right shoulder because you can see the daily has been pushing down for quite some time like for almost two weeks, we have had a downtrend. So eventually we can have a little bit of a pullback, lower high credit, maybe we can even drop the, where's my FIP? Drop the FIP like this and I eventually expect like 56, 1.8. So let's see, but before taking any longs on the louder guys, of course, make sure that we have a structure break. 
So this is our most recent one. So if this one gets broken, that's when we can start looking for longs, all right? But so far, shorts only. Pretty much the same price action on euro dollar as well. As you can see, we have this big push to the upside, a consolidation, a nice pump into the highs. And then the market really correctively came inside this range, mitigated around 50% of the range. And right now we're starting to pump to the upside. So again, same question. Are we going for a weekly hard high? This is what we have to see in the upcoming weeks. On the daily time frame, this is pretty strong. So again, as you can see, like uh, even the most recent daily structure was broken because I consider it to be this one because we pushed, we kind of consolidated. This is the last pullback before the big sell off. And this actually got broken. So I am completely bullish on Euro. But of course, we still have this little um, this little kind of support and resistance level to deal with because you can see we're starting to wick through it for three days and we still failed to break above it. Dropping on the quality time frame. Let me see where the week opened. Somewhere around right there. So we opened and we were kind of stuck in this little consolidation. And I was totally expecting a little bit of a pullback towards those areas right there, towards those areas. But as you can see, Euro dollar does not pull back when once it gets strong. We just created this little kind of a trend line right there, and then we just pumped massively into the highs. This is where I actually attempted to get short because we tapped this uh, resistance level on the left. And actually, let me show you a trade that I took this week. Let me see if I can actually find it. Let me go about actually journal this one. Oh, yeah, here it is. It's actually a little bit before that. So uh, what actually tricked me and um, yeah, we, we actually took this trade with, with my members together. And some of them actually held it, but I cut it for a 0.25% loss because I usually for reversal trades, I risk less. But uh, as you can see, there was actually another level right there on the left, a little bit below this resistance level. And uh, why I got tricked is seeing this bearish engulfing candle. So again, this is something that I always say to people not to do, to get influenced by big bearish candles or something like this. But I kind of build the narrative behind it because as you can see on the 15 minute we were just climbing 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 towards that area and then we had this big wick and this was also a fake of the asian highs and then we have this massive sell-off right there that broke structure on the left right it broke 15 minute structure then i basically dropped to my lowest time frames right there the three the one minute and again you can see consolidation the fake the break and that is the last structure before the break. So basically, I enter right there. I'm going to share my MT4 stats so you can see the entry. And I place my stop loss above the body of this candle right there. But then I, I went to the one minute to monitor and uh, seeing the market just react very nicely at first. Then we pushed and then I was looking for the reaction, but I just wasn't seeing it. All right. So basically, I closed my trade somewhere around here into around 50% of my stop loss range. And I took a 0.25% loss on this one as you can see the stop loss never hit and i actually had members hold this trade and i think overall it, it kind of made a nice return i told them to close somewhere around there i think we managed to bank around 3r on this one did it drop further i don't think it dropped further it kind of consolidated and then it started to pump up but basically this is one of the trades that i took this week pretty pretty a little bit forced it, it was a, a retracement or reversal trade that's how we call them but uh yeah it was pretty fine and as you can see it could have been actually a profitable trade or at least a break even so and then as you can see we entered into that range again uh, if i drop to the 15 minute there were plenty of opportunities uh, to be looking for right there short from here uh, we had longs from right there a lot of trades there were a lot of trades but i have to go to the one minute into the three minutes which is something that we have been practicing a lot uh, some of my members actually took those longs from right there on friday riding it into the highs then we had another actually another very well, let me try to find it. It's on the three minute. I think it was this one that they took. So basically following the momentum and the structure, we massively imposed into the highs. What does that indicate? Well, higher prices, a lot of momentum to the upside. So basically we waited for the retest. We had a little bit of a consolidation, a fake below the consolidation. So this is basically where the entry is. And then of course, riding it into the highs. And if you take your FIP, you can see 27% was perfectly tapped. So this was another trade that was taken and many more many more maybe for next week let me know guys if you really want me to journal all of the trades taken by me and the community of course because i think that's gonna become a little bit too much but uh, yes as i said currently we're sitting into a daily resistance but the market is a little bit extended and we're starting to consolidate so this consolidation can mean two things either a range 
for before going down. So this is your uh, push. This is an uptrend, consolidation, downtrend and a continuation or just a re reaccumulation for the market to continue to bump into the highs. So this is what we have to figure for next week. But of course, if I am looking for any levels, well, of course, I want to buy the market from this demand, right? Because this is when the real volume was entered. Currently, we have like a little bit of a supportive level. So similar to the DXY, if I have a full hourly close below this level, I'm going to be looking for shorts inside this area. And from here, I'm going to take it long. All right. But then dropping on the hourly time frame, the last few days weren't very clear what is happening inside this consolidation. So, yes, basically, I can actually mark uh, my highs and my lows and I'm going to wait to see what's going to happen on Monday. All right. So basically mark those levels, guys, and uh, make sure to get first a clear indication of direction. Of course, we can at first start to pull back to the downside to create the weekly low. So imagine the, the weekly candle. It always starts with a wick to the downside. So if this market creates a wick to the downside first, then we can potentially start to look for longs in order to take it higher into maybe 1.21. All right. So this is your USD. And let's have a very quick look at EJ because this week hasn't been like too easy for this pair. Like on the weekly, we are extended, but as you can see for quite a lot of days right there, those are, yeah, two weeks, we have been consolidating in this range right there. So currently it is really hard. It's really hard to trade those pairs. So basically I advise you to step away guys until we see something clear, all right? Uh, so you have to learn that not every market is a tradable market at specific times and even not every day is a trading day and maybe even not every week is a trading week, all right? Because sometimes we have markets like this. This is where actually all of the people are stopped out and that is where you lose all of your gains, all right? So you try to force any trades, rather you try to sell from resistance, buy from support, and uh, you get stopped out and it's basically not clear this market doesn't have any direction so again i have nothing actually for this pair um on the weekly as i said we are a little bit extended so i really want to see it down i'm not sure where it is traveling towards maybe to tap into some of those levels right there and uh, but yeah in terms of a quality time frame i don't have the direction so all i can do is I can mark my resistance because it's pretty clear and maybe I can mark an average support, something like this. So basically, I really want to see something happen, either a clear break with a clear stay below or a clear break below and a clear stay below, a retest and then a continuation. So very quick on EJ, nothing too much, guys. So waiting for something more to happen. All right, let's have a look at the Aussies as always, well, starting with AU. Right there, we have a very nice bullish week after a consolidation. So we had around two weeks right there of a consolidation. And right now, we're starting to pump to the upside. So this suggests higher prices. But again, still the question remains is when are we going to have this weekly pullback? All right. But of course, we're most of us are intraday traders. So we have to focus on what is happening right now. So as you can see, I was looking for lower prices, at least to fulfill 50% of this daily wick. But on the 13th of April, we actually had this liquidity spike right there. And that's when we explored it. So right now, uh, if I look on the daily, the question is, are we going to have a little bit of a pullback, maybe into 76,500 before a continuation up? So this is something that we can expect. Dropping on the forward, guys, if you check my previous uh, outlooks, I've been calling around this demand area to get tapped. But basically, the liquidity grab that we had is this one on the 13th of April with this wick. All right. So we just grabbed liquidity below this wick right there. We didn't tap into this area and then we just pumped without a stop. And I really hate it when it happens like this. We have a push, a rejection. So we expect a pullback to take a long and then the market impulses. Right. We have one candle right there bearish. So we expect a pullback and then we explode again. I hate this. And most of the times you're going to have a formation like this. This is basically the trade that I took on, on EU. It was exactly the same. And let me give you a little tip, guys. When you see this, uh, so basically you have the market extending to the upside. It has to pull back, but sometimes it doesn't. All right. But uh, I don't have the statistics. But if you have a pump like this and if you have just one candle of a pullback and then the next one is a bullish candle that takes out the high, most of the times the next candle is going to look something like this because the market has to pull back. And this is the setup that I took on EU because I know this pattern works. And as you can see right there, it worked perfectly because usually the market has to pull back to create a higher low. But as you can see on this one, it did not work out, but this candle was way too big. OK, so if this candle actually closed something like this, just breaking the high, then we can have it. But this candle really indicated a lot of buying pressure. 
as you can see this one it just took the high on the left and then we had the plunge all right so a little tip that you can go and back test because it works really nicely and uh, but this is more or less a, a reversal formation which is not really nice uh, this week i didn't take any trades on this one as i said my community took some uh, but can't remember uh, really but uh, yes currently this this little candle is actually <laughs> considered to be a higher low but i can actually move it to this one because it actually broke structure and uh, we have this high right there as well so basically right now on Aussie dollar we're stuck in a consolidation i told you that from the daily i do expect some lower prices um, maybe to retest this sort of structure which gives us around 76500 translating this on to the forward time frame totally totally we can see this so let's see let's see um what how, what kind of play do i want to see maybe a break and a close below this structure maybe a, a lower high and then a continuation down into daily support and from there we can actually take it higher all right guys keep in mind that anything can happen on monday the market can just continue to push up or of course if you drop on the hourly time frame we have this very strong uh, <clears throat> supportive level right there so what could also happen is the market can tap inside can show us the bullishness can pull back and then it can continue to pump up okay so if this happens of course we have to adapt and we have to start taking longs but overall this is my this is my outlook on um, au bullish market daily hard high are we about to have a deeper pullback or are we just going to continue to pump into the highs the daily is again just creating one candle of pullback so we can see the same formation a pump up a continuation down and then potentially a continuation up so let's see guys and make sure to stay tuned for the tuesday analysis where i'm going to break down everything again on the daily time frame on aj again the jpys haven't been really nice to trade this week but overall this one it actually tapped inside the area that I wanted to see and reacted beautifully. All right, so this one was actually pretty nice. Beautiful reaction. Still haven't broken the daily high. So what you can do is you can drop a rectangle like right this and type daily high so that we know where we are sitting, something like this. So keep in mind that we still haven't broken above it. And yeah, as you can see, we're currently sitting at resistance. Massive impulse from this area. This means that there are a lot of orders launched from this area. So eventually if the market gets inside this area, we can definitely buy from here and currently we have a little bit of a higher low right there so actually guys same play same play on this one i believe there will be an hourly level right there so we can actually react from this hourly level and continue up but if we break and close below i'm gonna be looking for a retest a tap inside this area and then from there i'm gonna re-evaluate to see if we can catch any longs okay so that is my outlook on aj currently just consolidating so definitely i'm gonna uh, let monday to play out to show me where he wants to go and then of course we have tuesday wednesday thursday actually thursdays are my highest probability trades uh, this is where i took my win this week so definitely guys don't try to rush in wait for the setups to develop and of course you're gonna get a chance to strike next on the list are the nzds uh, as you can see similarly to the aussies we had a consolidated week the previous one and right now we're starting to pump to the upside so again this suggests higher prices potentially are we gonna uh, target the highs for a high high we shall see dropping on the daily as you can see right now this price is sitting at a daily supply area right there but i what i can see is that we're actually not having any reaction from it and actually if i just translate this to the downside we really strongly impulsed away after this consolidation so this whole consolidation is an accumulation of orders and as you can see how strongly we exit so again trying to build a narrative from the daily we can definitely expect a pullback into this daily range and then a big buy so this is my daily setup potentially if we have that pullback and then dropping on the four hourly this market just exploded all of a sudden all right similarly i was looking for a tap of this level but it just consolidated 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 and just exploded and no entries no entries guys on any this week just a massive explosion right now so again i'm looking for this daily pullback towards that area and as you can see like the market is a little bit too high right now so we can definitely drop the fib and we haven't tapped any fibonacci levels and of course the higher probability will be down there so definitely we can actually start looking for reversals okay but keep in mind this is a big mistake of mine trying to um to see um extended markets and trying to take them down right so this is not nice not 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 nice but currently basically a very simple analysis on nu is that we're stuck in this consolidation dropping on the on the hourly time frame 
we kind of broke structure down. I think some of my people were looking for uh, for shorts right there because you can see like we consolidate, we sharply impulse to the downside, then we create, um, yeah, we didn't really break any structure, but this is a little level right there that we could have looked for shorts, maybe even if we dropped to the 15 minute, we had a nice break of structure right there, consolidation, a tap into New York session, and then we had a sell off. So this could have been a very nice short trade and this is actually how NU behaves. It is really aggressive, it just taps and goes. But uh, yeah, nonetheless, no, no clear opportunities this week on NU. And of course, what I'm gonna be looking for is for some clear introduction, maybe on Monday. Uh, is it gonna react maybe to consolidate a little bit more then to break clear structure, then to have a lower high and then to sell the market into this level? Or are we just gonna react from this level and pump into the highs? If we start pumping into the highs, I really wouldn't like it because of course I would always expect a pullback. So let's see, let's see. I I never, I never forecast guys. This is a, a forecast of course, but I always just adapt to the market and just go with it, right? I don't, I don't need to be right. So what is gonna happen right now? Because even if it doesn't happen, I'm gonna be into another trade, right? So I usually listen to my analysis, but I listen to it on a daily basis. So whatever I see in the morning, every morning is different. Some someday I look for long, someday I look for shorts, and whatever I think in the morning, that's what I stick to during the day, right? So uh, if we have a look at NJ as well, pretty pretty same price action. We actually broke the highs on the Fowley, which is really nice. And have a look at the formation, guys. Again, the market strongly impulses bearish candle, bullish, but we didn't fake. Then we had a fake. Then we have another bullish candle, but then we cannot expect the market to really continue higher. And usually, actually, it's gonna break lower, but this one did not break it. But uh, what I can see as well is if we actually have this structure, it was broken. So this is really nice. This indicates lower prices immediately. If I drop on the daily time frame, of course, we can start targeting the this daily demand area. Dropping on the full hourly, we actually have a full hourly break right there of this structure. Have a look. We actually have a break. If you went through the three the free course, you will know that this is how we draw structure and this is how it actually broken. So basically, we have a new lower high, which is right there. So any pullback inside this area could be shorts. So let's see. Let's see. It actually looks pretty good. Look at that nice push to the downside. Eventually, a pullback inside this area, and then we can start looking for shorts all the way down into this daily demand area. But of course, keep in mind that the market is bullish, so it can stop anywhere in between this range between this this push and this push, this is your 50%, so it can stop somewhere around right there as well. So let's see, let's see. Currently having a bearish outlook on NJ and NU as well, but first of all, I need to see a little bit more confirmation, a lower high, and then to potentially sell them. Let's have a look at some USDs, starting from UJ. We have two bullish weeks and right now two bearish weeks, all right? So we are tapping inside this level, which is kind of a higher low, right? Because we had a slowdown right there, we had a pullback and then we impulsed. So right now, if I just drop this on the daily and then maybe translate it, uh, sorry, on the weekly and then translate it on the daily, we see that we're tapping into this kind of a demand area, all right? So it's basically this one. So currently, yes, this is the question for UJ, guys, is are we gonna break lower than this one to really have that weekly pullback? Because UJ was massive for a few weeks, so definitely this one needs a little bit of a bigger pullback on the weekly. Or are we just gonna stop right there and continue to pump up? This is what we have to figure out. So dropping on the quality time frame, we can see that the market is perfectly bearish, right? Starting from here, we had this lower high, and as you can see, if I drop it like this, this was not broken, so this was just a fake above, and then we started to continue lower. Then we had a little bit of a pullback right there as well, that created the lower high of the week, and then we dropped lower to create a lower low. So basically, then we move our major structure into this one, and as you can see, since then we massively impulse lower, and then we create some very minor structure, right? And then we just uh, consolidate it, okay? So it's pretty, it's a little bit tricky right now because we're, as I told you, we're sitting in this daily, daily demand. I just want to make it not that visible. And uh, right now we have this sort of structure, okay? Oh man, this one. Um, give me a sec. Okay, so we right now we have this sort of um, lower high formation, right? So. A few things can happen. We can actually have that daily reversal, so be prepared for it. If we have a break of this structure, because this is basically a lower high, because it broke structure to the downside right there. So basically, if we break above it, we can look for a pullback and then eventually target the highs. And then we have to reevaluate what is happening, okay? Because this is just a shorter term call. 
and uh, knowing that we're sitting into a daily demand area we can totally expect the reversal but it is not ready yet so let's see if we're actually gonna have a break above a pullback for a higher low that's when i can take a long and then eventually ride it take some profits along the way and see how it's gonna react is it gonna create a lower high somewhere around right there and pump down or is it just gonna continue to push up right uh, uh there was a little long setup that i also called to my team it was taken from right there this uh pull away actually if i drop on the 15 minutes just to show you guys uh, basically it was taken from right there i was recording the morning analysis for my team and i was like look at that guys this one is gonna go up right now and actually it was a pretty nice trade because you can see like we tapped into the demand zone we kind of consolidated we pushed up we started creating bullish structure and we broke the swing we broke the swing right there but basically all of this price action right there becomes liquidity and i said to my team we're gonna come inside this area right there where actually the real move happened and i was just seeing this one tap and then go so this one was actually a pretty pretty nice trade make sure to go examine it i also journaled this one but it was a little bit too early for me to take so let's see let's see kind of expecting a few longs on nj on uj but first of all i need to see this break above pull back and then to potentially re-evaluate if I have any areas of interest to be taking longs from. Let's have a look at UCAT. It's a pair that I don't trade at all right now. And as you can see, we're in an overall downtrend right there. But even on the weekly time frame, it's a little bit too sloppy, right? It's um, small candles with big wicks. We have some moves uh, during some weeks, but then we consolidate a lot. This is basically the nature of UCAT. It is a really consolidative pair, which I don't like too much. On the daily time frame, it still doesn't make sense. It is still bearish. All right, because if we try to follow price, this is the last push that created a lower low. Okay, so basically your daily lower high should be this one. Okay, and then we basically pull back. This is a lower high and eventually right now we're targeting lower prices, right? Dropping on the fourly time frame, we actually had a sequence of lower highs this week. Um, we started from, let me see, 12th of April. We actually had this big uh, wick rider, which created the high of the week. Then we drop lower, lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. We drop lower, then we push a little bit higher to create a real lower high. And then eventually right now we're going to continue lower. Again, same pattern right there. We have a push, we have a little pullback, a nice pump into the lows, and then you have the reversal. So uh, yeah, but basically right now, where is our major lower high? Right there. Okay, so the market already pulled back, but it still hasn't broken below. So uh, this is a minor structure right now that the market can potentially pull back into to gather some more orders and to continue lower. Okay, I don't want to call any any longs, uh, although I kind of do expect them around this area right there. But let's see if the market will get inside this area right there so we can potentially start looking for the longs. Right now, it's perfectly bearish. So what I'm going to be waiting for a new cat is either a confirmed lower low and then a lower high, something like this. Or maybe a pullback inside this area, beautiful signs of rejections right there, shift on the 15 minute and then we can potentially look for shorts, right? That's UCAT, pretty simple. USD Swiss C, we had a bearish week, but not really strong. After this very nice evening star formation on the weekly, we had a nice continuation down. But right now, again, I would totally um, expect the market to reach around this um, demand area right there, which is 0.90 all the way down to 0.89. So definitely we can expect a little bit more of a downside. But first, we can also expect the bullish pullback because the market, of course, has to pull back. And dropping on the daily time frame, what I really like about this pair is that it actually broke the, the daily low. Okay, so this is our daily higher low, that impulse, and right now it is broken. So we are definitely bearish on the daily, okay? But that does not mean that we cannot go long right now. Why? Because we are a little bit extended, both on the full hourly and on the daily, okay? So uh, basically this week, again, a sequence of lower highs, potentially to take some shorts, which was pretty nice. Right now, uh, this is the, the structure that I'm going to take, an average structure. And what eventually I would like to see for a reversal is a really strong breakup of this level right there. Potential pullback, and then we can start targeting higher to uh, to go all the way up right there. And as you can see, we kind of have a little bit of a head and shoulders building. Left shoulder, head, potentially right shoulder around that area. So definitely, uh, we are still bearish. Um so if the market fails to break above this level and starts to react from here and then we have a lower low, then definitely, definitely we should start continuing going with the trend, okay? But uh, personally, I think building up that story from the daily, we brought, we made the, the daily lower low. So right now it's time for a daily lower high, which means that we can start taking longs on the hourly and on the hourly as well. 
So for the upcoming week, I'm going to be monitoring USD Swiss to see how it's going to react. And of course, if we have a nice break above, then potentially longs could be in play. So let's see. Let's wait uh, Monday, Tuesday to see how it's going to happen, uh, because I really don't want to take shorts anymore on this one. It's getting a little bit too low and low probability. It's starting to accumulate right there. You can see it's starting to fail to break and we're starting to have some nice uh, the pushes outside from the, uh, I mean, from the downside. And then the, the bearish pushes become a little bit low, uh, low volume. So let's see. Let's see. Definitely giving this one some time. All right, let's have a look at the GBPs as always, starting with GU. As we can see, a very nice bullish engulfing right there. Well, not really an engulf, but a very nice bullish week. All right, so if you bought it from the downside and you rode it into the highs, that was really nice, really nice. Almost 200 pip move. So uh, a lot of, lot of great moves on GU today. But as you can see, the majority of this position was done on Friday. So uh, that is a little bit funny. Like we had slow, 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 slow candles. Then we grabbed very nice liquidity down there. And then we pumped into the highs. And this was actually a trade that we took on Friday. Dropping on the Fawali time frame. This is basically GU on the Fawali. As we broke this high right there, this kind of a major high because this is the lower low, we pull back. So basically, this is still bearish market. But then we tap into the lows right there, into the demand area. And as you can see how the bearish move gets slow and then we have this big impulse from the downside. So this indicates that buyers are starting to step in. Then we pull back inside this area right there. And then we pump into the highest high, high, high. And since then, I've been bullish on uh, GU. And uh, let me actually show you one of the trades that I took. I was actually doing um, an exam by that time. So I mistook one of my uh, buttons. So I closed the trade very early. And uh, let me actually go. I should go a little bit on the lower time frames because this was just a very simple continuation trade on the 15 minutes. So basically, there is the trade. I was targeting these highs actually right there. And uh, if I go to replay, so yeah, basically at first we had a manipulation of the Asian range right there. Then we had this impulse to the upside that broke structure, but then we had another impulse. So this indicated to me that we could see higher prices around uh, New York or maybe even the lunchtime. And then what I did is I dropped on the five minutes. And as you can see again, like we started with a fake. Uh, we had a push, pullback, push, pullback, push, higher high. Where does the higher high originate from? Exactly right there. We create a little bit of a consolidation and we sharply tapped inside this level. And this is where I actually took it. Right there, I'm going to also share my MT4 stats so you can have a look where I entered and where I actually closed. Uh, pretty funny. So I was monitoring the market, I think, on the one minute and uh, I actually zero drawdown on this pair. Uh, we took it with the team as well. We pumped into the highest pullback, very nice, higher low was created, then a higher high. And then I was like trying to manage my position or something and actually close it. I actually close it some, somewhere right there. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, I was planning actually to go break even or to reduce my stop loss a little bit or to take partials. Not sure what I, what, what I planned to do. But later I see that the market tapped uh, further into my stop loss range right there. And that's when we actually exploded towards TP. So if I didn't close the trade right there, I think I took around, um, yeah, I, I risked 1% on this one. So I basically banked a lot. And uh, yeah, with my loss of 0 0.20, I think I finished around yeah 3.4% or 33 with commissions. But uh, yeah, this was a uh, pretty, and then I told myself, no, bro, you're not going to trade right now during this period. And then I stepped aside. And this is basically the, on the only trade, but we have many more. Actually, the biggest trade that happened on Friday, this one, this big melt into the downside that uh, tapped into this actually. So as you can see this on the 13th of April, this is the, the tap of that four hour level that I showed you. Since then, we created the uptrend. And actually, then we came inside this level again on Friday. And have a look, guys. This is the Friday move. This is a, almost 150 pips Friday move. And we actually caught it uh, from somewhere right there. It was on the three minutes. I didn't take it. But yeah, it was basically from right here. Exactly from there. Because you can see we have the tap into the level. We have another low. This is the manipulation. Then we introduce the volume. We break structure. This is where we actually accumulated. Push into the highs. Pull back. And uh, this is this was actually the entry. Where did it go? Okay, here it is. Boom, boom, boom. Let's let me zoom in. Yeah, here we have push. Another manipulation into the lows. And since then, we created a beautiful uptrend. We had a little bit of a protraction right there in uh, around New York Open. Pump into the highs again, doing all that stuff. And then we just continue to push into the highs. So GU has been really nice. My team took a lot of trades on GU and just smashed it this week. 
right now where are we going so first level that pops into my eyes is this uh, very strong supply so this is currently where the market is going to okay this is one uh, 1.39 so that is first target so currently we created a high high so the question is right now are we gonna have a pullback possibly because gu loves deep pullbacks so basically the move started from right there which is a little bit too big uh, but this is the hourly but yeah basically guys well very simple analysis on this one i'm gonna be looking for the market to start a little bit bearish and then to potentially take it higher but of course anything can happen on monday so let's see but currently yeah this is my outlook i do expect higher prices i do expect a new high high credit uh we failed to break below this low we just took a little bit of liquidity we exploded up we pulled back mitigated this one we started to pump into the highs another pullback right there hard high so right now we can expect the same hard low push into the highs target 1.39 and then from there we can actually um, uh, start to re-evaluate and see where we can potentially go so pretty simple just monitoring this level and even on the hourly we don't have pretty much nothing we just imposed right now so therefore we have to wait for the pullback gj pretty much a consolidation week for this one as you can see again on friday we had this very nice tap into this structural area which is also a daily level if i drop on the daily uh you can see that this is the last candle before the big move into the high so we basically tap inside and maybe gj can reach all the way into the highs right there which is a big 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 move dropping on the forward time frame it is really nice to see that we finally broke structure as well on gj and of course the move originates from right here so right now the question is are we gonna have a good entry point Okay, because the market, what it can do right now, it might fail to, to pull back lower, but it might create a higher low. And if we have a higher high, then of course, I'm going to be looking for a higher low as well. So uh, I'm going to let the GU and GJ, basically, those are the only GPPs that I trade, to play out a little bit to see if we're going to have those deep pullbacks. Or maybe if we're going to have just a pullback right now, a higher high, and then to potentially look for longs. Okay, so that's my plan on the GPPs. Uh, definitely looking, expecting higher prices. So let's see. Dropping to GA, uh, it's a pair that I don't trade at all. I don't trade it at all. Like I've actually, I, I don't remember if I've ever traded it, but it's a pair that I don't understand and doesn't work with uh, what I do, of course. But seeing that it is tapping into a daily level as well, which has already been topped quite a few times. But right now we went deep into it. We're having this daily big push. But even on the daily, the most recent price action is bearish. We have this uh, potential wick to fill. And uh, yeah, shorter term, shorter term, we are bullish because we broke the most recent lower high. Therefore, same scenario for GA. If we can have a pullback, we can potentially target this level. We can react, higher low formation, and then maybe we can start expecting higher prices on GA as well. Let me know. Let me know what your bias on GA because I know a lot of people that are actually masters of GA, but this is just not my pair. So I don't feel competent at all to shout in analysis on this one because usually it doesn't end up playing out as expected. But looking for higher prices on this one as well. Broken lower high, higher high credit. Let's wait for a pullback, higher low formation, and then to potentially take it higher. And first target will be, of course, this little slowdown right there at 1.80. And finally, Euro GBP, like, uh, yeah, this one just exploded right there. And then we just started to create this madness right there from one madness to another. Um, we had the liquidity grab again on Friday and right now starting to break lower, starting to break structure, which is the most recent one. So that is really good. And uh, eventually I really want to see a break of this structure as well. Pull back to create a lower high and then we can start trading lower because this one has to pull back even on the daily right we massively pump into the highs again guys i i have a, i get a lot of questions from you how do you determine between major minor and all of that stuff you just have to be aware of what every time frame does okay the daily is bullish but the the daily is a little bit too high right now so we can expect the market to reach at least 50 percent of this move which is right there okay so basically i know this on the daily then i drop to the four hourly, which gives me further confidence that this market can see lower prices because on the daily it has to pull back but as it gets inside this area right there i'm gonna start being more careful because we can start seeing higher prices from there okay it's all about flowing with the market and understanding all the different time frames and we do teach this as well and uh, yeah here is your liquidity grab nice pump into the downside and right now what i'm going to be looking for maybe is a for, for a confirmed lower low but we already have it a pullback lower high formation somewhere around right there and then a potential continuation down 
Okay, so those are basically the GBPs, guys. Uh, let me know your thoughts as well. What are you looking for on the GBPs for next week? And of course, make sure to stay tuned for the Tuesday analysis that I share uh, every week on Telegram. As we're starting to see some pretty bearish dollar, as expected, gold is starting to pump into the highs. Dropping on the daily time frame, we have this push into the highs that actually broke daily structure. We pulled back, we failed to break lower than this one. Imposed again another break of structure as a confirmation and then we actually create another pump into the high so basically our daily higher low right now is this one okay so we cannot break below this dropping onto the hourly time frame again i actually shouted some levels right there i'm not pretty sure because i don't trade gold guys as well uh, i just monitor it and then we had a push one candle of slowdown massive pump nice higher low massive pump again so basically the last higher low is this one but knowing from the daily, we are creating a higher high right now. Potentially, if I have a look on the left, um, there are this, this little consolidation before the move to the downside. So definitely, we can expect some sort of a tap inside uh, 1800s, okay, 1800s. And then eventually, we can start seeing lower prices. Maybe we can tap inside this area right there, which can, contains 1800s as well. So let's see, let's see. But of course, uh, we can start creating a higher low on the daily. But if the market pulls back inside this full hourly higher low, we can expect the higher prices, then we can potentially start dropping lower, okay? But of course, about gold, it's all about flowing with the most recent structure and with the momentum, okay? So if you see this strong hourly break, then of course, here is your retest, you continue higher. Massive pump again, little pullback, massive pump again, so definitely bullish. But the question is right now where the pullback will occur. Is it going to pull back into the full hourly level or are we going to have a little bit of a deeper pullback into maybe into a daily level? Okay, which is a little bit to the downside. And of course, the daily level I would mark is this one, this wick. Translating this one to the full hourly, it's actually the structure that was broken and hasn't been retested yet. So here we go, guys. Two levels to look for gold for a pullback. Let's see what next week will have for us. The indices keep pumping up and again our stock portfolios are looking amazing as you can see another bullish week on US 30 dropping on the daily time frame again super 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 extended really massively pumping into the highs hopefully we can expect some sort of a big pullback very soon but this was basically my analysis from the previous week I expect a little bit of a pullback and a continuation to the upside and as you can see it played out to perfection uh, we failed to break below this higher low we created a new one massive pump up and right now we are just continuing to trade into the upside i don't see any clear full hourly higher lows therefore i'm gonna consult with the daily which is this little pullback as well so yeah totally we can have some sort of a pullback on the indices um maybe around 50 percent of this whole move right there and of course make sure to mark your structure this one is a structure but it's too immediate i don't like it um this one as well this week could be could be so let's drop it like this and definitely a little pullback on your study will be nice before taking any further longs this was my outlook on nasdaq i was looking for this level but we just pull back right there we consolidated break of structure retest of structure as well and right now we are about to go up so basically this this whole level, this whole supportive level is our structural level. We actually broke the highs on Friday. And uh, yes, therefore, again, we can expect the max pullback towards this area. Maybe we can even fake this area and then a potential continuation up. But extremely bullish, extremely bullish, making new highs as well from the pre, uh, from uh, the this yearly highs that formed on the 16th of February. We're just breaking them right now. So ext extremely bullish, extremely bullish. And then, of course, my favorite index is just trending very nicely to the upside. No pullbacks, so no buying opportunities. Uh, right now, uh, the hype is on crypto. So let me know, guys, if you bought any Dutchcoin, if you bought any crypto. Let me know. Uh, I sold my Bitcoin at 64k. Uh, so I'm looking for maybe for another pullback right now to buy some more. But basically, I'm not really into those stuff. So I'm more of a stocks guy. But uh, yes, S&P right now really nicely trending to the downside the last sell was right there so this is basically our demand area so eventually if the market taps inside this area right there i'm i will make sure to buy some more all right so this time i'm gonna wrap up this video guys i really hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you did make sure to hit the like button leave a little comment below just to thank me it always means a lot to me and of course share this with a friend if you enjoy all of those outlooks make sure to stay in tune for the tuesday analysis on telegram the link is in the description i wish you a relaxing weekend and a crushing week on the upcoming one all right talk to you on tuesday